Taylor reporting live from Impact Family Center. And I am Tony Potato. Today in Chicago's community news, Chicago police shot and wounded a 13-year-old boy who they say pointed a weapon at him. Jamel Cannon's parents say that their son was shot eight times by the officer before he was taken to the hospital. Police stated that they were called to the northwest side around 11 p.m. Monday to investigate a shots fired call. Police say Cannon fit the description given and would drop a weapon he was holding when ordered to. Cannon's parents say that the boy had his hands in the air when he was shot. A Chicago police spokesperson said that the weapon that the boy was holding was in fact a BB gun and they believe the officers acted appropriately since BB guns are hard to distinguish from real weapons. Next in community news, Rob Bogoyevich convicted of 17 counts of corruption and said to be in a rude awakening or rude awakening during his time in prison. Former Cicero Town President Betty Lauren Maltese gives Bogoyevich advice to make friends because he isn't going to be well liked by the other inmates. She said from personal experience that he'll be shell shocked because he's lived such a good life. If sentenced to 10 years or longer, Bogoyevich will be in maximum security where inmates are worse. Bogoyevich is said to have come down going to have to come down and face reality because he's just going to be a regular person in prison while he said. Now to sports. Report on my I'm Liam Martin and I am Zay Joe. Today's sports segment is about Kobe Bryant and Ron Williams. And the NBA lockout continues Bryant and Williams will have the opportunity to play as a basketball team in Turkey. The team offered Kobe about one million and the Ron Williams about 50000 a month. The two basketball players are undecided, but are considering the offer. Now back to Kobe Martin. Next in sports, the Chicago Bulls and Chicago White Sox held a camp to teach kids to play pros. The Bulls and White Sox Training Academy in Lance, Illinois, teaches five-year-olds to high schools how to excel in sports. It also works with parents giving them techniques. The camp emphasizes the importance of fitness and nutrients for kids all over while teaching skills in base, basketball and baseball. Tune in later to hear more on the story. 